It was 30 years ago this year that Wendell Scott became the first and only African American to win a NASCAR race. He had not a dime of sponsorship, often scrounging parts for his car from junkyards. He was competitive because of his driving skills, Wendell Scott. But racing has changed. The cars are more powerful and sophisticated. Computer technology is used to fine tune them. Teams of skilled technicians work tirelessly to make sure everything on these cars are in tip top shape. And to remain competitive, the top teams have half a dozen cars and twice as many engines standing by in case of a mishap. As a result, it can cost upwards of $10 million a year to operate a car at the top NASCAR level. Such sponsorship has essentially eluded black team owners and drivers, but that changes today. The Dr. Pepper sponsoring the Miller Racing Group is the first time in NASCAR history that there has been corporate sponsorship of a team with both African-American owners and driver. And Jack Kildoff, you and Dr. Pepper ought to be congratulated for making this happen. Give them a hand. Your commitment to diversity and auto racing will literally change the complexion of the sport, making it inclusive as opposed to exclusive. Lynn and Lenny Miller, the owners of the car, raise your hands. Raise your hand, Lenny. This is a family. Give them a hand. It's a family. <laughs> Driver, Marty Buckles. Marty, raise your hand. Chi-Chi Williams, you should be up there as well, Chi-Chi. They are now posed to change history, making your own mark on all the racing just as Wendell Scott did. He was the Jackie Robinson of the sport. More than can be the Tiger Woods able to draw new fans to the sport, particularly minorities who have historically shunned the sport that historically shunned them. We can and will be a part of this sport that attracts huge legions and generates billions of dollars. We want to share both, both the enthusiasm and the financial benefits. Even now, before we can drive these cars, we are now wearing all of the sports car paraphernalia and the check it jackets. We are now driving the, uh, the apparel dimension of the sports car industry and can't even get inside the track. But that's changing today. Say amen. Ready, here we go, it's mom. After right. 25 years of hard work yeah. and three generations of support, the bright lights have finally found Morty Buckles. My ultimate goal is to get to the, to the top, and the top is Winston Cup. Lynn Miller shares the dream. Racing has been his life since 1939. I love the edge, uh, routine type uh, sports. They, they don't have any appeal to me. I and mean, I've started this at I was five years old. Lynn used to drive in those days. Now he owns the ride Morty Buckles is getting into. And though both their names are on the car, they'll tell you this one is the most important. This sponsorship goes beyond anything that's happened in racing to date. It gives young African-American engineers a chance to thinking that they can do things in the automotive racing area. It gives drivers hope that they can move on. An African-American owned team with an African-American driver have never had the luxury of corporate support in NASCAR. We feel this sponsorship is a winner, not only for Dr. Pepper, but also for diversity in NASCAR and for the fans who attend NASCAR events. The most visible thing that you can have is a black driver, uh, is a superstar. Tiger Woods has attracted uh, millions of fans, both black and white, um, and I think that uh, Morty Buckles, an African-American driver, is going to do the same thing for NASCAR. The sponsorship will help open doors of opportunity, but it will not replace the long hours that have become routine. I want people to understand also that the young people, whether they be black, white, Hispanic, or, or whatever, that uh, it comes with hard work. I've given my entire life to it. And now it's time for the racing world to give something back. I'm Randy Renner reporting. Morty Buckles is trying to pave the trail blazed by drivers like Wendell Scott. A regular gig in the Winston Cup Series is the goal of this African-American driver. 
For two generations, the Miller Racing Group has recruited black drivers and sought 29-year-old Buckles for his personality, desire, and ability. He started out in go-karts at age eight. Uh, he has a mechanical engineering degree, which we think is a plus uh, in racing to understand how the chassis work and not only just drive the car, but able to articulate uh, the adjustments of the car uh, as it goes around the track. Nothing is going to stop us from getting to the top uh, simply because we're true racers. Everybody in our organization has at least 20 years of, of racing experience, uh, 20 years of dedication. Morty Buckles picked up his love for the track from his dad. Morty says his dad made sacrifices so that he could advance in the world of racing. But last season was difficult. Buckles and the Miller Racing Group made the decision to sit out the entire 2000 season to raise sponsorship money. It was also the year Morty's dad died. Earlier this year, I lost my father, who was the backbone of my racing. And um, yet, it came at the same time when I, we got the Dr. Pepper sponsorship. So it was, it's been a bittersweet year. Finding sponsorship money is one of the difficulties facing black drivers. Lenny Miller says he's noticed great crossover fan support for African Americans, but convincing sponsors is another story. Usually there's excuses. Well, there's not any African Americans in the in the race in the in the stands or at the races. Uh, there's not any African American drivers, or there's really not an interest. But that attitude isn't going to stop Buckles. He's taken a page from the late Alan Kowicki's book and gotten a degree in mechanical engineering. He says determination and the support of the Miller Racing Group will help him succeed.